Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calculate column in SharePoint to calculate the number of days between two dates. If you enjoy SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because we put out more videos in those areas. And now for my intro. All right, so we're going to create a calculate column for my SharePoint list to calculate the number of days between dates. So before you start, you're going to need two date column fields in SharePoint. Let me go ahead and add a new row right here. We can do a better example. I'll do from the 1st to the 28th. So you might need, in your case, you're probably going to need to know how many days it is between these two dates. Uh, you don't want to do that by hand every time, or if someone changes it, you want it to auto calculate. Let's go ahead and navigate over to the cogwheel in the top right hand corner, go to list settings. And then we're going to scroll down to the create column button out here. I'll go ahead and call my SharePoint column number of days off. And that's because my SharePoint list is dealing with leave requests. So the employee is going to be off between those two dates. Let me go ahead and click on the calculated choice. And now we need to write the formula. So the formula is going to be the date diff formula. So we're going to do an equal science and let me zoom it in so everyone can see. Equal science date diff. So let's DIF. And then we want to do a, an open parentheses. So the first date is going to be your start date. I already labeled the start date, so I'm going to click on the right hand side, start date. And that's going to put a column name in between two hard brackets. And then we're going to do a comma. So after the comma, you want to go ahead and enter in the second date. So in my case, it is end date. Then we will go ahead and add another comma. The third parameter it's going to take is if you want to calculate the days, the months, the years. In my case, I'm going to do the days. So we're going to do a double quote D, double quote. And then we'll close up that parenthesis to close up that date diff formula. So it's going to calculate the number of days between those two dates. If you want to do months, you would go ahead and do a capital M. If you want to do years, you would go ahead and do a capital Y. In my case, I want to go ahead and do days. So we're going to do the capital D. So we will go ahead and run this A little side note. So I'm counting the days, not inclusive. So if I have from the 28th to the 30th, it's going to be 28th and the 29th. If you want to do inclusive. So the 28th, 29th and 30th, they're going to add a plus one after that. So that's going to be inclusive of the two dates. I'm not going to do that. We will leave that part out. We will go ahead and do the data type return for this formula is a number decimal places. We're not going to have any decimal places because we're doing whole days. I'll go ahead and click on OK at the bottom. If we navigate back over, go ahead and click on add column, show and hide columns. So you should be able to see your calculate column now. Let's go ahead and add that in. And you can see that we now have a calculate column here calculating the number of days between the start date and this end date. So 25 through 28th, that is three days, 25th, 26th, 27th. So if you added that plus one at the end of it, it would be four because you're inclusive of that 28th date. So the first to the 28th, that's 27 days. And if I went ahead and modified this column, so let's say uh, the employee's taken off for like two months, something's going on. It will automatically update that calculate column so you don't have to do that by hand. So that's a really good use for the calculate column field. So now we have 58 days. I hope you guys enjoyed the short little video of how to create a calculate column in SharePoint to calculate the number of days in between two dates. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will catch you in the next video.